there's nothing else needed for that room but before we close those doors and this is why I mentioned this you need to come over here and in the portable appliance you need portable hydroponics that needs to go in here first because when you right click and open it up that will not fit through a door glass doors it will fit through uh, window glass doors possibly but it's a little bit tricky and once it's in there don't touch it unless you have like a six by six grid around you because when you grab it they tend to bounce around uh, now if you were on Mars I'd suggest going over and grabbing this tank and putting it in there and say this you want to put back in the corner take your tank drop it in here because you can open that tank and release the air inside of it and create an atmosphere but on the moon or that other place there is no atmosphere so you don't want to uh, you don't the only carbon dioxide you have the other thing that we need to do is turn that You don't have enough carbon dioxide in order to fill it up and Plants need at least a minimum of 7.5 kPa of carbon dioxide Alone and then anything on top of that it's based on the number of moles the atmosphere pressure and whether or not they have water sunlight and all that all right so now we're looking for the water bottle or water canister of water and that is going to go right there there's not a lot probably want to make you want to make that a high priority to grab a couple pieces of water and that is water or it could that silicone ice. that's ice that is oxide it's where you get your oxygen nitrogen and this is almost white with a blue tint that is silicone so right there I've got my ice so I can fill that up but you will need to build a hydro, uh, an atmospherics kit with the filtration and filter it out into its own little canister and I believe so but I'm not sure that this will hold water in it so don't quote me on that all right, so everything everything's in there. Let's just go ahead and close it up. So I need plastic sheets. Ones I didn't get. Oh yes, and I'm supposed to be not using this oh wrong button crowbar and two glass sheets i'll put that away grab the crowbar done and i'm going to instantly open the outside door now you're thinking, well, but you didn't label anything. How are you going to know what's what? Well, easy. I've only got one airlock, uh, one active vent, right? So I turn on the switch, and that's what I got this data disk. And this is another reason to control everything. This is the only thing that's on my network. If I have, if I did not have this here and this was connect, this wire was connected to a hundred different appliances, every single one would be in the list. And then if you have multiple doors or which one's which, you would need to go in, label it, or best thing to do is 
always separate an airlock and its own EP APC whatsoever. Look at that. We got a full charge and we're on one battery. I'm going to go ahead and swap that battery out so I get that one charged as well. And we've still got loads of sun left to go. So, but airlocks you do not want shut down because if you're inside and the power goes out or well, you need to find out why how are you going to get out if you're outside and something's going on in the base and the power goes out you need to run inside how are you going to get in other than breaking that airlock open with your crowbar forcing open the doors and now your atmosphere is all over the place because you can't operate the active vents can't operate the doors correctly so that's how that's why we separate our airlocks so I need to active vent on vent and in, in an advanced airlock this is not going to say vent it's going to say exterior so it wants exterior door which one is the exterior door well let's just click on one oh this one went red so I know that this is this door that's my interior uncheck it check the other one now that one just went red you know mouse problems I'm gonna uncheck that see it's green now it's red now it says interior right here so now it's asking for where's the interior door that would be this one right here and we need our gas sensor and notice how that one went red too so now if I take this out cycle it closes the door it activates this and it says fill me up to 100 kPa now there's no atmosphere in there well how are you gonna get some atmosphere well I'm gonna take out my tank and I'm gonna open it up and then voila we have atmosphere now it's not enough on I, I literally I got one kPa because it's just not enough it needs a few days so I'm gonna take out the other canister and I'm gonna open it up and watch it and I'm gonna just now I quickly closed it because you can accidentally overfill a room and now I just got carbon dioxide in there because it put it into my filter slot. Well, now what do I do? I can't, it's not pressurized. Well, just cancel it. No big deal. Look at that. We have atmosphere. We have 25 kPa in this room. 22. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get some more oxygen. And we're about 24 plus the three minutes of it. I didn't have the timer on. And look at that. It just sucked up the air into that pipe. So now that's good. I'm going to run over here. I'm going to throw away my data disk. Or, well, not throw it away. I'm going to put it away. And I'm going to put my crowbar back. And grab my wrench out. And that's going to drop to the ground. If you're on top of a hole, watch it. Now I'm going to show you about how things jump into your hands. And if you're inside that little square, it could go flying off into the middle of nowhere and you got to go chase it down. And just like that, it snaps to your hand. So it's, yeah, it's, that's cool and all, but... And it makes it also makes it hard but just like that I did not do anything I just hit the doors and it fell out of my hand so now I'll try to get in here and if I was to grab this it could actually break my suit so I'm gonna grab my tape just in case grab me some duct tape yes Mark Wahlberg did it I can do it too so now I do not want to be standing on this thing and there it goes it just this is why you don't grab things in small tight quarters 
There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna cycle the interior, and this is why you want the bigger doors. I wouldn't be able to maneuver around in here. Oh no, my oxygen's going down. You notice I'm still, I'm fine. Perfectly fine. All right, so I'm gonna hold C, and I'm just gonna increase that to one. Two, three, now notice there is 7.69 MPA in here. Press it to four. Come on. Uh, I think we have a broken tank. Yeah, I think I have a broken tank. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to take our tank out. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to try to see if I can't drop it into there. And I just refilled my tank. Just like that. Now I'm going to open it and instantly close it. All right, one more time should do it, because I don't want to overfill this. How's 130 ooh there we go there now we have a decent pressure in here now I'm gonna do this one more time oh if I can get the right No, 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 no. Come on. There we go. 104. That right there is a decent pressure, and I did not blow out these door, the windows. They end up blowing out at about 120, 150. I'm not sure the exact number. So from here, I go into taking off my mask, showing you that there is a breathable atmosphere. Hope this helps. Let me know down in the comments what you want to see next. I will do another one next week on Mars. There are a few things different that you need to do for a, an advanced airlock, but the basic principle is still the same. I've got links to the Twitch and Discord in the description below. I do live stream on Twitch every Monday and Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.